All right, everybody, so I did find some time to trade today before I head out to Vegas and L.A. later on, hopefully, if the planes and everything go well and don't get held up and all that. But uh, first trading day of the year, and you know, you know we're starting off with a red trade. It's like a rite of passage, at least for me, to start off every year that I trade with a red trade, the first one on the year. So we're going to break down the trades. There was three separate trades today. See how we ended up. Let's trade. Go! All right, so first trade of the day here was on RIVN, the market, and pretty much everything was going down, uh, if you guys were paying attention this morning. And RIVN was going down at a much quicker pace here. You can see it got up to 92 early on in the morning, and now we're down at 87, about 10 minutes later. So I was thinking this was a pretty good spot here to start getting long in RIVN, get a starter there at 100 shares at 87.26 starts coming down some more put out a another 100 shares another point below that so now i have 200 at 86.76 and at this point i'm feeling pretty good about the trade i think the chart looks all right and we're just looking for that bounce got to have the bounce to make some money it's still going down a little bit i decide instead of doing the 112 here just to add another one with the idea of I still have room within my risk parameters to go with a two after an additional one. So I get an additional one there. It starts just bleeding out slowly, coming down towards 84.50. I'm like, all right, it looks like it might bounce here off of 84.50. So I'm going to add in the two right here. If it doesn't break it and starts to come back up a little bit, I'm going to add in the two and then I'm just going to cut it real quick if it comes right back down. So I add in the two there. So eight, 500 shares at 85.69 and looking for the bounce here. But at this point, if it comes right back down and looks like it's going to break 84.50, I'm just going to go ahead and jump out so that there's basically almost no risk on that final add of the 200 shares there. And unfortunately, that is what it does. That is what it does. That's what it does. And we sell out right there for a minus $600 loss. So first trading to start the year red, but like I said, kind of expected and uh, was was okay with it. You know, uh, I got to pay my dues to the market to start the year. I was then watching RIVN still, and you can see it was a good cut. If I had not cut it, it could be bleeding, bleeding, bleeding all the way down here. But it's starting to pick up a little bit more speed here. The market is much more overextended at this point. So I'm watching for a, another flush point here on RIVN. If it can get down towards kind of that 75 mark, I wanted to see it, I believe, at least through 70, a break of 76 is what I was looking for. So I'm watching it here. The market at this point is also starting to bounce just slightly. So I'm kind of like, okay, this might be the time this time on RIVN. So watching it here as it comes down towards 76, it's pushing 76, and it's actually going to break it for, I think, um, a microsecond uh, right here. And that's where we click the button. I get the fill right at 76 with the 100 shares. This time I want to be quick with it because of what it did to me before. So about 10 seconds later, we sell it and make $100 back there on RIVN. This one did eventually bounce pretty much from this point but that's okay i was happy to at least get the first winning trade on the year uh later on final trade of the day was here on nvax you can see this is starting to extend to the downside as well it was just up at 120 122 and it's fallen off pretty good so i put an order out here on nvax to get long at 113.57 100 shares get the fill right there willing to add in of course again here if it wants to continue just like rivn did this time it doesn't this time it starts bouncing and i'm going to sell out the first partial of my position there over 115 so i sell 70 of the shares there this time doing better of holding on to even small share size especially when it's on these higher price stocks so leaving myself 30 shares left over if it wants to continue 15 i'm looking for 15 more here through 116 it gets through 116 i hit the button and i get the fill right there at 116 so down to 15 shares now and at this point i'm like okay cool this trade went well i'm going to go ahead and put a stop out on the remaining 15 shares at 115 if it decides 
that it's not done going down and it wants to come back down. Otherwise, I went through 117 on the final shares. This time I was watching it through 117 and it got a little bit of speed right through 117. So I didn't click it right away and I actually ended up putting a limit order out there at 117.50, looking for the final fill on the remaining 15 shares. And we're gonna go ahead and get that fill right there for plus uh, just under $200. So that's gonna be it on the trades for the, the day. Losing $300 to start the year. You know, it's not too bad overall. It was tough market conditions out there, and I had to pay my tribute to the market to start trading here in 2022. Now I'm off, leaving on a jet plane, heading to Vegas, baby. Hopefully we have better luck there. Got all my bad luck out of the way today here in the markets. I will see you guys when I get back. I'm going to try to vlog the trip. I'm not too great at those. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching.